Miss Good. Um, okay, so as promised, I said I would do you a video for your state board practical. Um, a couple weeks ago, I went through a training, and these are the things that they're now expecting from the NIC board, okay? So, I'm going to walk you through. I'll speak while I'm doing it so that you know what I'm doing, and you can watch me as I go. Obviously, my setup is a little different from, me, from yours because I'm at home, um, but basically, you're going to be doing the same thing, okay? So, when you go, you're going to start off. This is also for my Aesthetics 1010 and 1020 class. So these two things are together. So 1010, you learn your general setup, a basic general setup. For 1020, you do general setup plus you do your full basic facial. Okay. So when you arrive, they're going to read to you your proctored practical. Okay. You will prepare your work area for your client. You will set up the universal supplies that you will use throughout the examination. You will also set up supplies for the basic facial section of the examination. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 10 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have five minutes remaining. Do not demonstrate any procedures until the verbal instructions are given and you are instructed to begin. Step back to indicate that you have finished. They will repeat these instructions. Always important, listen to the instructions that they give you, okay? Once they repeat, they will then tell you, you may now begin. So the first thing I need to do, I arrive, I'm sanitized and sanitary, as well as my bag. And my bag is zipped and closed with everything that I need inside of it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my three bags. And I'm going to take them out one at a time. My soiled linens, to be disinfected, and my trash. I'm going to take those out and I'm going to set those up one by one. My bag is directly in front of me and I'm going to set those up directly in front of my bag. Remember, this is my section on top and down below, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that and pull out my bags. As I take these bags out, I don't press them up against my body, but I do wanna make sure that they're good and firm and open, okay? That's a good reason why when you go to state board to have these nice fresh bags, okay? are now set up, right? Okay. I know that my next step is to wipe down my surface. The thing is with the new 2020, when you're using EPA wipes, you must have on gloves. Okay. So my advice is going to be this. I'm going to go ahead and go into my bag and I'm going to take out my hand sanitizer and I'm going to set it down on this dirty work surface. Okay. Hand sanitizer. I'm setting that down. Try to set it in here. I'm going to pump a two hand pump, right? We don't one hand it. I'm going to get my bag with my gloves, which I'm going to have, and they're labeled gloves. I'm also going to get out my disinfectant wipes. Disinfectant wipes. Dirty work surface, right? It's okay. These are wipes. I can wipe them down. Also, I can wipe down my hand sanitizer. I'm going to go ahead and open these. I have clean hands, remember? Everything in my bag is clean, and I was clean, and I sanitized. I'm going to take out my two gloves. I'm going to zip this, and I'm going to set it right here. I'm going to go ahead and put these on. Take your rings off. So, as part of my general setup, what I would advise you is to have a bag that had gloves in there, okay? Because when you go to state board, just like these gloves right now, they're sticky. So there's a chance that, as I'm trying to like fight these on, that I actually pop my glove. Well, if I pop my glove, I can't disinfect my work area unless I have some spares, right? So I need to make sure that I have some spares in my little bag, and I can keep that as part of my general setup. Very smart thinking to do that, because later on down the line, I have blood spill kits, I have waxing and tweezing, and I have all these little things that's going to require for me to wear gloves. And if some time during any of those steps that I pop my glove, 
and I don't have a backup, I'm in trouble, okay? When you go to skateboard, don't do like me and bring a small glove, bring a medium glove, okay? So take your time, you have 10 minutes to do this. We all know that we don't really necessarily need 10 minutes. They're gonna give you a five minute warning when you get your five minute warning. If you're like me and you're still struggling with these gloves, get different gloves, should put on those. Okay, so I'm gonna get these gloves on. We're there, good deal. Okay, so my gloves are on, which means now I can disinfect my work area, okay? So I'm gonna pick these up and hold them. They're closed. We always close everything we've gone into. I'm gonna pick up my wipes. I'm gonna open them up. I'm gonna take out a wipe or two, however many you think you need, and I'm gonna close that, okay? I have my gloves on, so therefore I'm protecting my hands. I can even come over here and pick this up, right? There's no problem with that. I have my wipe, and I'm gonna clean down my work area. Clean down your entire work area. Okay, that looks wonderful. This goes into the trash. Make sure you're throwing it in the correct container, okay? So I still have all this stuff and I have my other wipe in my hand, right? So now I'm gonna take that wipe and I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna hold this here. I'm just balancing everything in my hands. I'm gonna take this, because remember it was clean and then I set it on that dirty surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it up. That is now sanitized. I'm gonna set this down with my labels pointed out to my proctor because I need them to know that I'm actually using hand sanitizer and it's labeled in English, just like they require. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down. I'm just being extra thorough, okay? Now I'm gonna set that down because I'm gonna have to use that later. And then I also have this. So I might as well just go ahead and wipe this down because I set it down on that dirty surface, even though it's bagged. And these are labeled. So these are also now part of my general setup. I'm gonna set them there, okay? Now I have this dirty towel wipe. I'm gonna throw that in the trash. I'm also then, now I'm gonna turn these gloves inside out. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw those in the trash because I choose not to wear them, okay? So now that I have my work area disinfected and clean, I never messed up my hands, I had gloves on, I have some of this set up, I'm gonna finish setting up my general setup, okay? sanitize my hands. I went into the trash, correct? Once my hands are sanitized, I'm gonna go back in my bag and I'm gonna get my first aid kit. I have my first aid kit. I also have my mannequin. I'm gonna set her here. I'm gonna go ahead and set my first aid kit up here. They can see everything. It's directly out to them, okay? Sanitize my hands again, just because I wanna be extra thorough, right? I'm gonna go in here. I have my drape kit. I also have my bag stuff for my cleansing section. And I'm just gonna set that right here for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my drape kit. So what we always wanna make sure that we do is we sanitize our hands before we go to our client. We sanitize our hands after we come off of our client. So I'm gonna set this down, I'm not rolling this up on my body. I'm just gonna roll it up and I'm gonna put it down here in the trash. went into the trash, so I'm gonna sanitize my hands. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set up this drape. These towels are a little large for my little area right here. But this is my sanitized working area, or my SMA. Don't want to put these up against my body. I'm going to be nice and thorough with them. Okay. Now I'm going to mannequin, right? Go ahead and sanitize my hands. Get old Susie Quinn. I'm going to lay her down here. Make sure I have a good, firm drape on her. Make sure I'm bracing her when I do it. because I don't want this falling off at any time. Now for my video, I didn't set up time cues. 
because I'm doing a lot of talking through this because I'm trying to explain things. However, you know, you'll be listening for that five minute warning. You'll have plenty of time to do the service. You should not have to worry about it. You should not feel stressed. Even if you struggle with your gloves, getting them on, you should be fine. So make sure she looks good. Make sure that's nice and firm. Obviously you don't want to pick her up and shake her, you know, like, like we do sometimes in the class to just to double check ourselves, but you want to make sure it's good and firm so that when I'm doing those masks and things and she's kind of sliding around a little bit, I want to make sure that she maintains contact with that drape. Okay. So I have her draped. I now need to drape on her neck, right? We know to do that. So I don't want to do this. I want to come around just like I would if she was a real person. And I'm going to drape her neck, okay? So now I have her properly draped. I know that I just finished her, so I'm going to sanitize my hands, okay? Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my workstation here. Because that's part of my general setup. It's a setup for my cleansers and things. So I have all my wet items bagged. My wet items. I have dampened sponges. And then I have all my implements and things. You can either take these and just dump them here on your workstation. Or you can go in and get them all however you want to do it. doesn't matter. We're nice and clean. You just have to be careful not to drop anything. Just like that little stick came out. So I have all my applicators. I have four by fours, I have two by twos. I have my exfoliator brush. I also have my fan brush. I'm gonna set all these things down on my workstation. Okay, I know that I'm done with this bag. I'm just gonna roll it up. And I'm gonna pop that into the trash. Once I go into trash, sanitize my hands. I also have my steam towel that's down in my bag, which is the last item that I actually need to bring out. So when I go down and get that, I'm going to actually zip my bag also, okay? Never want to leave that bag open, right? That can cause cross-contamination if someone was to sneeze or spill something into my bag or if I dropped something and it went into my bag, right? You can always take out of your bag. You can't put that in your bag. So I have this, this is my steam towel. It's labeled steam towel. Just gonna set this here on my workstation. Gonna open my products up. And I'm gonna set them up. So I have a moisturizer. And my mask. line these up in my order so I have my cheat. I have my toner. It's labeled. Everything is labeled in English. My labels are pointing outward so I have cleanser, exfoliator, massage cream. I have this bag. I can close it up and that goes into my hands. Okay, so now while I'm sanitizing my hands, I'm looking over what I have set up, okay? In my mind, I'm looking. I have general setup. I have hand sanitizer, first aid kit, disinfectant wipes. I have gloves. Part of my general setup, too, is I may have paper towels. If I choose to use paper towels, I have those part of my general setup. I'm looking to make sure I have aesthetic wipes. I have aesthetic wipes. I have four by fours. I have two by twos. I also have applicators to dip out of my containers to get my products. I have my exfoliating brush, I have my fan brush, I have my products, my toner, and I have dampened sponges along with my steam towel, okay? Once I know that I have this laid out, I know that she looks good, I know that everything looks good, I'm gonna double check my bag, my bag is zipped and closed, I know for this section, I am done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna sanitize my hands, once I sanitize my hands and I step back, I have 100% committed that I have double checked everything and that I'm now ready to move on to the next section. Once everybody has finished, 
then they will say, you know, all candidates have indicated they have completed the section, we will now move on, or they will tell you your time has now expired for you to step back. Even if you're in the middle of something, you stop and you step back, okay? Um, then they're gonna read your next set of instructions. Client preparation and basic facial. You will prepare your client for services. You will perform a basic facial. The basic facial will include cleansing, manual exfoliation, towel steaming, massage, and mask. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 25 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have 12 minutes remaining. Step back to indicate that you have finished. Once again, they will repeat the instructions. Once they have repeated them, they will then tell you, you may begin. So to begin my service, just as if this was a real person, first thing I'm gonna do is sanitize my hands. Okay. I know that my first step is cleansing, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my cleanser. I'm gonna remove the lid. I'm gonna get one of my applicators. Yep, I'm gonna get one of my applicators. I'm gonna dip out some of my cleanser. I'm gonna immediately close the lid. I'm gonna set this back down. I'm gonna take two two by twos and I'm gonna lay those out. I'm gonna apply my cleanser to one of my two by twos. Then I'm gonna take that applicator and I'm gonna throw that in the trash and I'm gonna sanitize my hands. I'm gonna pick that two by two up you can easily just smash it together. You can also take that applicator and put it on both. It does not matter. Now that I have these two by twos, I'm gonna go ahead and clean her eyes because this step is to remove any eye makeup like you would do with a real client. So what you have to do is make sure that you're bracing around the eye area. That's gentle tissue. They wanna know that you're protecting their eyes. So I'm gonna brace around her eye and I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse that one up. As you see, I'm holding this one. You could have left that one sitting down. It wouldn't have mattered. I choose just to hold it, okay? Once this is done, I'm gonna go over the trash, throw that away, sanitize my hands. Now I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna brace around the eye and I'm gonna cleanse the other eye. Still bracing, holding that skin, getting that eye nice and clean, okay? All that eye makeup is now removed. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna throw that in the trash. Stay bored, I'm gonna sanitize my hands. I know now that I've done the eyes, now it's time to do the lips. I'm gonna do that same process. Dip onto the aesthetic wipes, do the lips, right? Same thing. into the trash, sanitize my hands, take my aesthetic wipe, pat them together, and I'm going to brace around the mouth just like we do the eyes. They want to see you brace it on the mouth, okay? So I'm going to brace on her mouth. You can use one aesthetic wipe, you could use two, doesn't matter. Just make sure you're bracing and make sure you're cleaning the lips, okay? That's what we're focused on right now. We're taking all that lipstick and lip liner and all that product that's on her face or around her lips. We're making sure we're removing all that, okay? So that's what I'm doing. And I'm bracing her mouth. Don't wanna stretch the skin, right? Okay, she's looking good. Take that, that goes into the trash. I'm gonna sanitize my hands. Now that I've done the eyes and the lips, it's time for me to actually cleanse the face. Same thing, I'm gonna pick up my cleanser going to do it a little different this time because I'm going to use my built-in palette. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put some cleanser on my applicator. I'm going to put that on the back of my hand. I'm going to close my lid. I'm going to throw that in the trash. 
sanitize my hands. And then I'm going to take this cleanser. I'm going to warm it up in my fingertips. And then I'm going to apply it over her face. I'm going to do a nice quick pass because I want to get the product all over. That's what they're looking for. They're making sure that I don't get it in her eyes. They're making sure I don't get it on her lips. They're making sure that I'm applying it to the entire face, okay? If you want to go down the chin, you're perfectly fine with doing that. It doesn't matter. They're just looking for you to cleanse the face. She's looking pretty good. So now I'm going to move on. So my next step here would be to go ahead and remove it with my aesthetic wipes, okay? I want to take that product off now because I've just cleansed and I need to cleanse all that makeup off. I'm going to use my aesthetic wipes to get all that makeup off. If I understand why I'm doing something, then I'll do it properly, right? Okay. I'm going to get my two by twos or my four by fours. I'm working with a larger surface. I'd like to have a bigger surface to work with, okay? And now I'm going to go ahead and just remove that product. Being careful around the eyes and the lips. Don't want to do anything to stretch. I'm just trying to get my cleanser off. I'm just trying to get all that stubborn foundation and makeup off of her. Okay. And she's looking good. So I've gotten all that off. That looks nice. I've covered all bases of where everywhere that I put the product. These are going to go into the trash. If I had something back here, I'd go ahead and wipe that off. Use a little bit on my fingers if I'd like to. That's fine. Went into the trash, so I'm going to sanitize my hands. So now I've done, I've done eyes, lips. I've cleansed the face. Now I know I need to tone her. Remember I have my little cheat here because I have my cleanser and I have my toner right behind it. So I'm going to take my toner. I'm going to get one of my two-by-twos. I'm going to come off to the side or over my trash, preferably. I'm going to wet that, right? Close my lid. And when I close that lid, I'm going to bring it back down here behind my mask because that's my little reminder to do it after my mask, okay? You can use one, you can use two, it doesn't matter. You can do the same like you did before and pat them together, it doesn't matter. Brace your client and tone her face. Being gentle around the eyes, bracing when you're going around the eyes. Being careful not to get the toner in her eyes. Brace it around the mouth. Go in between the upper lip and the nose. I want to go down her nose and around. Just a nice tone, right? Okay, that's looking pretty good. Feather off into the trash. Sanitize my hands. Now I know that it's my turn that I get to go into exfoliating now. I've cleansed the face thoroughly, I've toned, now it's time to exfoliate. Still doing good on my time. They haven't told me my 12 minutes were remaining yet. So I'm going to go ahead and open my exfoliator. Take out some of my product. Close my lid. Don't go over my client's face. Set it down. I can put this to the back of my hand. This goes into the trash. Sanitize my hands. Now I'm going to take that exfoliator, I want to rub it up in my fingers to warm it up, and then I'm going to apply a nice, even coat over the entire face. Because my next step is going to be use my um, exfoliator brush, so I need to be able to, you know, move that product around with that brush. could take my time because I have 25 minutes for this whole thing. I have a lot of time, okay? I want to make sure that I have it good and thoroughly on there. Okay, that's pretty good coverage. When you're working, you're going to take a little bit more time. I'm just trying not to take too much time with this video, okay? You also want to maintain your hand contact. I talk with my hands, so you won't be doing a video like I am. Okay, so I know that her face is good and coated with this, okay? I've avoided the eyes, I've avoided the lips, so I know I'm good. I'm gonna feather off as we do. 
I'm gonna go ahead and grab my exfoliator brush. I'm gonna take this protective cap off and I'm gonna throw that cap in to be disinfected. Now I'm gonna take my exfoliator brush, I'm going to brace her, and I'm gonna do circular motions all around her face to cleanse her face with that exfoliator. When you do your practical in class, we're looking for you to do all these same things. I'm also looking in your trash bags. I'm making sure, are you really disinfecting things? Are you throwing them in the trash? Do you know what to do with your products? Those are the kind of things I need to make sure that you know how to do. Make sure I'm not getting in her eyes. I'm avoiding the lips. I can go down her nose if I choose, it's fine. Once I've done that, I'm gonna feather off with that. And this is gonna be into to be disinfected. Okay, that's in, sanitize my hands. Now I know it's time for me to do my steam towel. I can feel the yuck on my hands. At this moment, I could either go into one of my paper towels, I could pick up one of my aesthetic wipes and wipe my hands off, throw it in the trash, sanitize my hands, or I can just go ahead and go into my steam towel because I know that I have that dampened steam towel that I can use to remove the rest of this off my hands, right? I'm gonna go ahead and open my steam towel. I'm gonna take that steam towel and I'm gonna set it down on my work surface. I'm gonna take this bag, not rolling it up on my body, but I'm gonna roll it up pop it in the trash. Because I went into the trash, I'm going to sanitize my hands. Even though my hands feel disgusting, that's what I'm going to do because I'm at state board, okay? I sanitized my hands. Now I've got my steam towel. I'm going to make sure that I pick that steam towel up, that I fan it out because it's really hot, just came out of the steamer. And then I'm going to test that temp. Yep, that feels good. That's nice and comfortable. That's not going to burn her. This is fine, okay? I'm going to come around her we don't want to just, you know, come over top of her like this. We want to go around. I'm going to go around her and I'm going to go ahead and drape this on her face. Make sure that you keep the nose and the mouth exposed. That's what they're looking for. I'm going to add a little bit of pressure on here for two reasons. One, it's a mannequin, right? It doesn't feel good. It's not doing anything. It's not opening her pores or anything. But you know what it is doing? It's cleaning my hands. It's making my hands feel a little better. I'm gonna give a little pressure here. Okay, that's good. Doesn't need to sit any amount of time. That's perfectly fine. They're just making sure that you know how to apply the towel properly and that you've left the mouth and the nose open. Now, as I take this off, I'm gonna use this to actually help wipe off that product so that when I go into my next phase, I don't have all that gritty exfoliator left behind, okay? So go ahead and pick it up. Use that towel to your benefit to wipe it off. You have it on the headband, it doesn't matter. It's fine. That's why we have it there to protect her hair. You can pick that towel up. What I tend to do when I like to work on someone is I kind of pick it up and I kind of make myself like a little glove with it. Okay, this works better for me. It may work better for you. You may like it the other way, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna have that. Now I'm gonna use that nice damp and towel to get the rest of it off. I'm bracing her. Not rubbing it across her eyes or her face. Just making sure I have it all off of her. Take a good look around to make sure. When you're standing up and doing this too, you actually get a better view of what you're working on, okay? Okay, so now her face is clean. Now I'm gonna use this towel to my benefit. I'm gonna go ahead and take this towel and I'm gonna wipe my hands off because I have all that exfoliator all over my hands along with the cleanser, and I like to give my hands a good fresh start, okay? So I'm gonna cleanse this off, wipe my hands off. Now I'm gonna take this towel and I'm gonna put this towel in soiled linens, because I know if I was in the clinic, that's where they would go, okay? And now I'm gonna sanitize my hands because I put something in one of those bags. Now my hands feel nice and clean, okay? Now I know that I can move in to the massage portion nice clean hands, okay? If I still felt some grit or anything, I could go into those paper towels that I had set up for my general setup, or I could pick up one of my aesthetic wipes, wipe my hands off, throw it in the trash, sanitize my hands, and move forward. Anytime if you go into, if you have paper towels up here and you go into those paper towels, it's perfectly fine, but make sure you keep it closed afterwards. Don't leave them open, okay? 
The same as when you go in for your gloves. Don't leave the bag open. You want to keep it closed, okay? So now I'm going to go into my massage. Take it, my container, I'm going to open my lid, pick up one of my applicators. I'm going to get a good portion of this, and I'm going to apply it to the back of my hand. Because I'm going to be here for a little while, okay? Close that lid. Set that down. This goes into trash. Sanitize my hands. Be careful not to throw that hand around and knock that cream off onto the floor. If at any time you drop anything on the floor, whether you're at state boards, or you're doing your practical in class, or you're practicing, stop immediately, clean it up, throw it away, disinfect your hands, start over. Accidents happen, it's perfectly fine. So now I'm going to take some of this off the back of my hand. I'm not going to take all of it, just so I have a place that I can go back if I want more, instead of having to like stop and get an applicator and go in the container, close the lid, sand off my hands. I don't want to keep doing that. Plus, I want to maintain contact for this client. So I'm heating this up nice and warm in my hands. I'm going to apply a nice effleurage movements over the entire face. This way it kind of gives me that, I have that movement, okay? I have, I have that oil and the cream on there. It's going to help glide and slide. So I have that, okay? So one little fast pass with my effleurage movements. And I have enough product on there. So now I can begin my massage, okay? Starting with those effleurage. this time to think about the things that you've been through, to look at your workstation, make sure you haven't forgotten anything, plan your, start making plans for what your next step are so that you know what's coming up next. Also, don't take your hand off like I just did. Maintain contact at all points whenever you're doing a massage, whether it's with your mannequin or it's in the clinic. We leave our hands on at all times. If you need to take one off, that's fine. If I needed to get more massage cream, then I can easily come up to the temple, leave this hand on, come over here with this hand, apply. If I have to, I mean, I can always warm it up with my hand and then go back on. If I have to come off to get more product or something, I want to come up to the temples, I want to feather off ever so lightly. I don't want to disturb her, right? I want her to relax. This is her time. This is, this is the time you're making that money, right? This is what they came for, for that relaxation. They want beautiful skin, but they also want to feel relaxed, okay? So warm the product up, and then I'm gonna go back on. You're doing those effleurage movements. I wanna do those effleurage movements, those feather-like movements. I wanna do those three to six passes, okay? So if I start with the chin, and I can do those nice and slow, give a little pressure, work my way up the face, go up the jawline, the cheeks, under the eyes, between the nose and the top lip, from the eyebrows and down, down the nose, eyebrows down, temples. Once you've done those three to six passes, then I need to go, I need to transition into petrissage. Petrissage is going to be kind of like that pinching and kneading, okay? So I typically will come work my way with effleurage up to the brows, work my way back down to the chin, and then when I'm ready to switch movements, I'm going to come back while I'm at this chin, then I'm going to go ahead and switch. So now I'm going to start doing my little pinching. I don't have to work super fast. They haven't even told me my 12 minutes remaining are there yet, okay? 12 minutes is a long time. Work your way up the cheek, the jawline, opposite side of the cheek. 
from across the eyebrows. And if I've done my one pass, then I can start going back down to my chin and doing my second pass. Once I've done my second pass, I'll go into my third. Maybe you're going three to six. Maybe you're going six. Whatever you're doing, you do your passes, okay? Once I've done my petrissage movements, then I know that I can do chapotman, right? So chapotman is my, lap, my light tapping. Now they're looking for you to do all four of the movements that I'm showing you. Now, after you do those movements or in between those movements, if you choose to add something different, that's perfectly fine. You're doing a massage until they give you that halfway point. That's perfectly fine. But make sure that you do the four and that they see you do the four because that's what you're going to be graded on. Do those three to six passes of your tapotement. And now I'm going to move into my friction. Friction, you're just kind of going back and forth, throwing that skin back and forth, back and forth. Avoiding the eyes and lips, covering the entire face. Once I've done that, my three to six passes, then I'm going to go back to effleurage. So go back down to my starting point, and now start with my effleurage because I begin and I end with effleurage. Back to three to six passes. And then it may go dee 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 dee. You now have 12 minutes remaining. Okay, I'm not just gonna stop and go to the next stage. No, I'm gonna finish the massage. So I have 12 minutes remaining and all I have left is a mask, okay? I'm gonna finish my effleurage movements, making sure I've done those three to six passes. to remove her massage cream. So I'm going to get two four by fours and then I'm going to go ahead and start removing that massage cream. Make sure when you're working on your mannequin that you make sure you don't have anything in the nostril, that you don't have anything down here underneath her chin. I mean sometimes you have to get down there and look just like you were with a client. Be careful around the mouth. I don't want to stretch that skin. Be careful around the eyes. Same thing. I don't want to stretch that skin. I also don't want to get any of this product in her eyes or in her mouth. Once I'm happy with the product that I've removed, I'm going to come up here and feather off like we do with everything. I'm also going to take this aesthetic wipe and I'm going to wipe my hand off because I have this massage cream on the back of my hand and I'd like to have it off. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up my hands. Okay, I'm going to throw that in the trash. Sanitize my hands. I'm going to get two more, maybe one more, aesthetic wipe. I'm going to step back a little bit and I'm going to use that aesthetic wipe to clean my hands up. Because your massage cream leaves a lot of residue behind. And I also need to be able to open my products. I don't want nice slippery hands. I want it to have nice clean grip. I want to make sure if I had any of that exfoliator that I'm getting it all off. Okay. That's going to go into the trash. I could either use those or I could have went into my paper towels at the top. Just make sure you close them back. Okay. 
sanitize my hands because I threw that in the trash. And now I know it's time to go into my mask, okay? So there's 10 ways that you can do a mask. The way I typically like is the mask that come in your kit is very thick, it's a clay mask. That's how it's supposed to be. When you apply that to a mannequin, it's very hard to put on. So I like to take the mask, mix in a little bit of water until it's about the consistency of like my massage cream or my cleanser. Okay, once I've done that, I'm gonna open my lid. I would have already had this mixed like that when I came you know, to do my practical. Take my applicator and I'm gonna dip up a decent amount. I'm actually just gonna put this on the back of my hand. That's just how I personally like to work. I'm gonna close my lid. Be careful of this, don't let it slide off. I'm gonna set that down. This is gonna go into the trash. I'm gonna sanitize my hands, being mindful of my product on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my fan brush. And now I'm gonna use my hand as a palette and I'm gonna get this on my fan brush. I want a good coat of this on my fan brush. Not heaping, not about to fall off. I can use this to kind of get my hand, you know, like get it spread around on my hand so it's a little bit easier. If you need to manipulate your brush to get it to like fold in, that's perfectly fine too. Okay, now I'm gonna brace my mannequin and I'm gonna apply the mask. Typically I would start on one end if you're working with a client, you don't want this paint by numbers, tap, 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 tap. When you're working with a mannequin, sometimes it's hard not to, just because the product slides so much and it's very hard to get on. So be careful going around the eyes. When you get a state board, if you do not bring this product and you actually end up making something else to bring, then make sure that it has a color to it. It can't be anything clear. It can't look like a gel. It actually has to have a color to it, which is why we advise you to use what's in your kit. They're making sure that you're not getting this in that client's eyes or in her mouth. If you do, that's okay. Pick up an aesthetic wipe, wipe it off. But if you do it nice and slow, you're not gonna do that. So I see that I'm running out, but I can still use this on the back of my hand. I just dip a little out and continue with my mask. So I'm gonna have to turn my brush so I can get in here on this forehead. My brush is wide and that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. I'm taking my time. That way it's not getting in her eyes or anything like that. I'm making sure that I have this face good and coated. That way my proctor can actually see this product on her face. in here. Upper lip, it's fine. I'm going to come down the nose. That's perfectly fine. When I do the nose, I'm going to kind of manipulate my brush a little bit to get it a little bit smaller. Get that product on. That way I can turn it sideways, do it in here in between the eyes. Same as if I was doing this on a real person. Do the same. And that is a nice even coat for state board. It's perfectly fine. They can see that product on. I know it's hard for you, but you can see the product on. It's there. It's noticeable. They can see it. This is fine. So now I'm done with my fan brush. I'm not going to ever set anything down, like not an applicator, not the exfoliator brush, anything that I've used. I'm not going to ever set it down on my SMA. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it in to be disinfected. Make sure you're putting it in the right bag, right? They're watching you for that. I also have this product on the back of my hand so I can get an aesthetic wipe. That's sitting, that's fine. I know that the next thing I'm going to do is remove that so I can get my two aesthetic wipes. Before you do that, because I threw that in the trash, back up real quick, I'm gonna sanitize my hands. I put that into be disinfected, sanitize your hands, then get your aesthetic wipes. When you do this on a real person, you're not gonna be going in and out that much, but it is a good habit to be in because if you are going in the trash and you for some reason stick your hand in that trash, then your hands are contaminated and I would never want to touch a customer with that on, you know, so it's a good habit to be in. I have my aesthetic wipes. I still have this stuff on the back of my hand. I'll get that off in just a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the mask. So here's where I will use either my aesthetic wipes or I'll use my dampen sponges. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my aesthetic wipes. If it gets it off well enough, then I won't go into my dampen sponges. 
If I don't like the way it's removing, then I'm going to open up my dampened sponges and I'm going to remove the rest of it. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I'm getting out from underneath her neck. Mind the eyes. You can turn those wipes inside out, flip them around however you need to. It's perfectly fine. Be careful around the eyes. You always want to brace when working around those eyes. I'm going to go ahead and throw these in the trash, but before I do, I'm going to wipe that product off the back of my hand the best that I can, okay? And that pretty much came off, okay? I'm going to throw that in the trash. I'm going to sanitize my hands. And now I'm going to go ahead and use my dampened sponges because I just want to make sure absolutely that it's off because I know in the next set that I'm going to do is I'm going to end up tweezing and waxing, putting makeup on, so I want to absolutely make sure that I have no products left behind, okay? I'm not going to roll this up on my body. I can set these right here to use. I'm going to take this, throw it in the trash. I'm going to sanitize my hands. I'm going to pick up those dampened sponges, and now I'm going to go ahead and wipe her face down, okay? Bend those sponges. Get underneath that bottom lip. Check underneath her chin because you don't want to leave any of that product behind. Be careful for her eyes, be careful for the mouth. Make sure you didn't leave any product in her nostrils. She is a mannequin, that, they are plastic. It does easily happen, so just double check that. Check around the ear, make sure there's nothing on there. The same as you would with a person. Once you're satisfied with the way that looks and you don't see any product left behind, I can finish that off. I'm gonna come up here, taper off, nice and gentle. If you still had some of that product, you could give that, you know, a little rinse off your hand. Take these down. Sponges go into trash. Those are a single-use item. When you're in the clinic, you're using them, you're using your own things like that. You're welcome to wash them out, dry them out as long as you're using them on yourself. If you're ever working with a client, those are single-use. What you do at home for your personal use, that's you. But when you work on a client, those are a single-use item. Okay, so I sanitize my hands. I know that I need to tone next, okay, because I moved that little cheat down here. All my facial product is off. I have my little two by two. I'm gonna bring it over here. Preferably, I'm gonna step back. Don't do this over top of the client. I'm gonna take this preferably over my trash can, just in case it spilt onto the floor. Close, set that back down, and now I'm gonna go ahead and tone her face. You can do this with one, you can do it with two, two by twos, doesn't matter. Brace. This is also going to ensure that you get all that mask off, right? Get that face back to being in good shape so when you do your next sections. Mind the eyes. Be very careful. Brace when working around the eye. Brace when working around the mouth. Sometimes you can take that pinky and like anchor your pinky down. That way you're holding. If you like to hold, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you're bracing, okay? She looks good. Trash. Sanitize. I know that the last thing I need to do is do my moisturizer. I have my moisturizer open. So my moisturizer, I put that on the back of my hand. I'm going to immediately close my lid. Don't ever want to leave these open, right? That goes into the trash. Sanitize my hands. Mindful of that moisturizer on the back of the hand. Okay. Once I have that on, I'm going to go ahead and take it. I'm going to warm this up with my hands. And now I'm going to apply her. Nice effleurage movements. While I'm doing this, I'm thinking in my mind. Have I done everything? Are my products closed up? Did I do all my steps? 
do I not have anything dirty sitting on my workstation? Does my mannequin look clean? Do I not have any mask anywhere? Nothing left behind? Is my bag zipped? Do I not have, do I have anything that I accidentally missed my trash? Did I throw something away and it accidentally hit the floor? If I look down and I see that, taper off, get an aesthetic wipe, pick it up, throw it in the trash, sanitize your hands, get more product out if you need it, dip, throw it away, close the lids, warm it back up, go back to your client, okay? Anytime something happens, you drop something, spill something, whatever, you can always recover from it as long as you know what to do, okay? Do not panic. Things happen. You're going to be in the clinic. You're going to knock over your water. There, um, you're going to knock over your lotion. I mean, who knows? Things happen. That's okay. It's perfectly normal. Just know how to recover from them, okay? So now that I've gotten her moisturizer slash SPF on, she looks good. I'm going through those things in my mind. I know that I'm done. I'm going to do those nice epiphage movements, three to six passes, come up to the temples, feather off, go into my paper towels, or grab me an aesthetic wipe. It doesn't matter, whatever I need. And I'm going to go ahead and clean these off. So what's important about this is if you notice on my workstation here, let's get these cleaned up, that into the trash, sanitize my hands because I went into the trash. Here, I would actually commit to being done because I know that I have everything done. My stuff is still out. These are clean, one-time use things. These are my products. They're all closed, closed, general setup. She looks good. My trash is here. There's nothing on the floor. My bag is zipped. I know that here I can sanitize my hands and I can step back and commit, okay? I would be done with this section. This is all of your 1020, okay? However, this is what I'm gonna show you. I need to make sure, especially if I'm a clumsy person, that I have maybe not this many, but I need to make sure that I have at least a couple extra um, spatulas because if I accidentally dropped one, had to stop and pick it up, I can't put it back up on the workstation. That has to go into the trash, okay? So if I'm a clumsier person, then I wanna have a couple more of these, okay? Same thing with um, my four by fours and my two by twos. I wanna make sure I don't need big thick stacks of them. So if you're coming to your practical and you have these big thick stacks, there's no need in that many. You only need so many. Count them out, get them ready, and then make sure you have extras. If you're using them to wash your hands off, you gotta wipe your hands down, then make sure you have a couple added in there. Um, if you're using the paper towels, make sure you have your paper towels. Make sure they're folded up so that you can easily grab them out. Don't take all five paper towels or six paper towels or however you have, fold them as a group, and stick them in a Ziploc bag and seal them, because you have to take all of them out. Anything you take out of a bag has to stay out of the bag. It can't go back in, okay? So if I have those paper towels like one, two, three, four, five, six, and they're folded up individually in there, then I can easily go in there, pull one paper towel out, close that back, set it down, do my hands, right? If I have to take the whole stack of them out, now I have to use this whole stack and I have no more for later, okay? I hope this um, explains how to do your general setup and your basic facial. If you have any questions, email me. Bye.